What if your phone could tell you're upset, not just by what you text, but by the hesitation in your voice? Or if a digital assistant could genuinely comfort you after a bad day? This isn't science fiction. We are on the brink of an era where machines learn to comprehend and mimic human emotions. But how do we teach silicon and code to grasp the human heart? We still picture AI as a cold, logical engine, great at chess and data analysis, but emotionless. That view is fading. The question isn't if AI can develop emotional intelligence, but how it already is. Welcome to the AI classroom. The textbook is us. AI learns emotions by analyzing massive datasets of human expression, millions of labeled facial images, hours of speech tagged for joy, sadness, sarcasm, and more, even physiological signals like heart rate and skin conductance. This field, effective computing, uses deep neural networks to spot emotional patterns much like a child learns by observing. Fascinating and imperfect. Recognizing emotion is one thing. Responding is another. That's where mimicry of empathy begins. You've seen it. Chatbots that shift from formal to apologetic when they detect frustration. Virtual therapists offering non-judgmental space. Robotic companions that comfort the elderly. Crucial point. These systems don't feel sadness. They simulate appropriate responses based on patterns. The line blurs further when AI creates emotional content, melancholic music, expressive art. Power like this brings an ethical minefield. Who owns our intimate emotional data? How do we prevent manipulation, nudging us to buy when we are vulnerable, or worse, social control? With black box models, even developers may not fully know how conclusions are reached. Clear guidelines and accountability are essential. Will this make our digital world more empathetic or more detached? The future is arriving now. Personalized companions that grow with us, mental health tools that spot crises early, interactions with technology that are not just logical but deeply emotional. As the line between human and machine thins, it's not only about what AI learns, it's about what it teaches us about ourselves. As AI learns to feel, how will it change what it means to be human? Thanks for watching. If this was useful, Please like and subscribe for more deep dives into the tech shaping our future.